Hey y'all, it's Becky here from The Becky Sphere, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Becky, and every Tuesday and Thursday we talk about the climate here. The problems, yes, but the solutions, yes. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button below, hit the like, comment, share, all the good stuff, and today we are doing the climate recap. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. China announced their climate plan, which involves dropping their carbon emissions by unit output by 18% for the next five years. They also plan to have clean energy represent 20% of their energy generation by 2025. They currently produce 60% of their energy from coal. Climate experts say that the, China, that the Chinese climate plan is far less ambitious than China suggested it would be in September. The European charity, the National Trust, created a map that looked at climate threats in the UK, Northern Ireland, and Wales, with the goal of planting trees where they would most be useful for climate mitigation and adaptation. Not too far off, a new study based in Scotland is looking at all the oceanic carbon stores around their country. This will be the first time that a study has planned to fully map out carbon stores. A CDP global supply chain study released in February found that climate change is expected to cost global suppliers $1.26 trillion over the next five years. They also found that corporate buyers are expected to inherit $120 billion in environmental costs in the next five years. Maryland passes a bill to move its state towards carbon neutrality by 2045 and to plant 5 million trees in the next 10 years. A study finds that summers in the Northern Hemisphere could last six months by the year 2100. Meanwhile, the Conservative Party this month rejected a proposal to declare climate change as a fact. The Security and Commissions Exchange, or the SEC, is requesting input for its climate change disclosure to improve them for their clients. A study found that 90% of UK teachers say that climate change should be taught in school. However, 41% say that it is barely mentioned at all. In addition to that, 70% of teachers say that they don't feel like they have the adequate knowledge to teach climate change in schools. Biden invites 40 world leaders to the climate summit. Massachusetts joins a growing number of states to commit to net zero carbon by 2050 at least. A recent book called Countdown by environmental scientist Shauna Swan sounds the alarm for worldwide penis shrinking epidemic. She cites pollution and pesticides as two of the main causes for a drop in male fertility. U.S. President Joe Biden focuses his effort on improving and accelerating the offshore wind in the United States. Currently, the United States is far behind in offshore wind in the offshore wind industry, with only less than 10 offshore wind turbines currently off the coast of the U.S. It is reported that Kyoto's cherry blossoms have bloomed the earliest they've ever been recorded blooming in the last 1,200 years. The World Bank, the largest funder for climate finance for developing countries, revised its climate policy but stopped short of halting any fossil fuel funding. Finally, Biden announced his administration's $2 trillion infrastructure plan on the last day of March. And I will be doing a video on that soon, so stay tuned for that. And with that, that is the climate recap for uh, March. It will be interesting to see uh, how much of his infrastructure plan he will be able to do without congressional approval. So that is something to definitely look for. Um, yeah, and I would say that that's my main my main um, hope for next month is to see that. And also, because it is Earth Month, well, every month is Earth Month, but you know, it's Earth Day is this month, so therefore it became Earth Month. It will be interesting overall to see what different organizations and companies do for Earth Month, because this is the time where they can really brag about their sustainable and environmental plans, right? So we will see all the different uh, news piling up soon enough, I am sure, and I will be there to cover it for y'all. And without further ado, 
Don't forget that on Tuesday, we will talk about natural gas. On Thursday, we will cover the second to last part of All We Can Save, and I will have some other good surprises coming soon in the pipe. So stay tuned. Remember to talk about the climate every single day and to support your local news organizations. And I will see you all on Tuesday. Bye. That's the best I can do.